today's video, I'm going to show you how I take this pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and two of these plastic planters that I got from Ollie's and turn them into some cute side tables for my patio. Welcome to Fixin' Two. Alright, we're going to go ahead and just jump in and get these pieces spray painted and I'm using the Rust-Oleum American Accents in the color Heirloom White Satin. And also guys, if you have not gotten one of these to spray paint, you must get one. These are awesome finger savers. They're great. You can spray paint for a long time using these. I will link down in the description box below. Um, where I got this it is um, awesome I love it and it is just like you're just holding a little um, little gun like thing it's great also these um, planters came with these um, pieces that fit on the bottom um, and I guess one of mine fell off and at the store or whatever and I only had one so I'm gonna go ahead and glue it down using some E6000 on this one and then just not worry about it on the other one and we're going to do a little bit of embellishing um, towards the end. So I'm just going to take my spray paint and begin to spray paint it. Now I tried my best not to spray on the very very top of these there because I want the glue to adhere really well. Now I know I got over spray but um, it definitely worked out okay. And I'm also, as you see, spraying the um, pizza pan. So I did a, two coats of this just to make sure that everything was good and covered. So I let these dry overnight. And so now that they're good and dry, we're ready to put this together. Now, like I said before, this one was missing that piece on the bottom. So I'm going to let that one be my bottom one. And um, this is the one with the little cap thing I'm going to let that one be the top. So I'm going to be using of course hot glue and also E6000 to put these together and that will um, of course the hot glue dries fast and the E6000 will have time to dry. Now this new nautical rope from the Dollar Tree is awesome. It is um, soft and lighter color. I love it and it went well with this. So now we're ready to put the um, pizza pan onto the top of the uh, planter. And I just took that little lip that's right there um, on the bottom of the pizza pan and I just put a nice little bead of the E6000 glue on there. And guys, this fit like, it, like a glove. It's like it was supposed to fit right there on it and um, to make the top of the little side table. So now we are ready to put this together. And on each one of these little tabs, I'm going to put um, a good amount of the E6000, and then I'm gonna go in with the hot glue and put a good amount of hot glue right next to it there so that everything will stay together and hold together for a long time. Guys, if this is the first time to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button that's right over here and the notification bell that's right next to it so that you're notified each time I upload new videos. I upload videos every Friday and I sprinkle in some bonus videos from time to time. So with that notification bell, you won't miss a single one. Now we are ready to embellish and we're going to be using the nautical rope and I've taken some clear tape and put it on the end to keep it from unraveling because this stuff will unravel very easily and I'm just going to get uh, the starting point and just take it and measure around the area that I want to put this rope. Once I get it measured there, I'm going to take a piece of the um, tape here, the, the scotch tape, clear tape, and I'm going to put it right on the area where I had marked it with my finger. And once I get that on here and get it wrapped around, um, completely wrapped around, 
I'm then going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it right in the middle of that tape. And what that will do is that will keep it from fraying on both sides. Now we are ready to put this onto our little table. And I'm just gonna start right here by putting some a bead of hot glue, gluing it and doing that all the way around. Once I got here to the end, I realized that um, as I was putting it on with the hot glue, I kind of stretched the, the um, rope out a little bit and it became a little bit long. So I'm just going to measure again, again putting the tape on there, um, wrapping it around and then cutting it off right there in the middle of that tape and then finish gluing that down. Once you get that finished gluing down, then you are ready to display your new table. Well, I think that these side tables turned out absolutely darling, and I didn't spend that much at all creating them. Just a can of spray paint and a couple of plastic planters and a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree. And you've got some cute little side tables and getting my porch ready for summertime. The pool back here, as you see, is also getting ready. My husband's been working on that, and we're ready for the summertime. It's already getting warm here in Alabama, and the bugs are definitely <laughs> showing up, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, we have mosquitoes big enough to carry you away here. So, But I'm excited about what's coming this summer and just being able to enjoy our backyard. Make sure that you comment down below. Let me know what you liked about this uh, video. And let me know if there are some things that you have gotten ready for the summer already. I know that we're just in the midst of spring and some of you are still kind of experiencing some of the chilly weather. If if you would can you send some my way please I don't like the hot hot that's why we have a pool so <laughs> so you guys send me some of that cooler weather it would be awesome if you could well I love you guys so much I'm so glad that y'all joined me today and always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is I'll see you on the next video